Hey guys, this is part three of our three-part video series here. We're going to go a little bit into depth about our different setups that we might have on our bow for turkey versus any other kind of hunting, uh, be that deer or even for your 3D target archery setup. Uh, the main difference in my bow setup when I go to sh start hunting out of the ground blind for turkeys is I run a little bit shorter stabilizer here versus instead of when I'm hunting for deer, I usually run a 10 inch stabilizer off the front which that's fine out of a tree stand for me but it's a little can become a little bit tight in the ground blind so i like to run this shorter offset stabilizer here i also like to make sure i always have a sight light for my sight as marcus stated earlier it's a little bit dark in the blind having that light is going to allow you to see your pins clearly make sure you get a clean ethical shot also uh, the difference between my hunting bow and my target bow is going to be mainly the shorter axle to axle length that's going to allow you to fit into the ground blind a little easier, not have to worry about the taller cams, the taller bow running into the ceiling of the blind. Uh, especially for the, some of you tall guys that shoot a little bit longer bow, like, me, like myself, I shoot a 35 inch bow and I have plenty of room in the blind. So anything 35 and under, I wouldn't worry about size issues and having to go out and buy a smaller bow. Um, I'll talk a little bit about my broadhead selection. It's basically the complete opposite of my deer arrows. I'm gonna run the biggest, nastiest broadheads I can get. If you can see here, I've got the Kill Zone Max, which is a two and three eighths inch cut broadhead. That's gonna open up on those broadheads and really put a hurt on them. And I'm also gonna shoot these Grim Reaper hybrids. While I do shoot these at deer, because I like the dependability of the fixed blade, these are gonna open up a huge hole on the turkeys and allow me a little bit of margin of error in my shot placement since they have such a small vital section. Like I said guys, that's about, about the main differences between my deer hunting bow and my turkey hunting bow. So stay tuned and we'll have some more videos out and hopefully get a couple gobblers killed on film for you. Stay tuned, Flesh Deep TV. Guys, this is Marcus here at Fletch Deep TV. This is part three in our series. We wanted to cover for you a little bit about our setups uh, for the springtime. Uh, me only having one bow, I've got mine set up to run a little bit of a dual purpose for 3D and turkey hunting. Uh, like Ryan said, anything 35 inches or shorter uh, is just fine out of the ground blind. I wouldn't necessarily recommend going much bigger than that. You might run into clearance issues with the top. Um, we'll start kind of right here at the stabilizers like Ryan did. Um, Unlike Ryan, I don't have a 31 inch draw link, so I can get away with running a 10 inch bar on the front of mine inside of the ground blind and not have too many issues. Um, I do like to run a little bit of a weight on the back. Um, I've got three ounces on the front of a 10 inch bar, and on the back here I've got eight ounces on the back of an eight inch bar. That balances my bow out left and right really well and front to back really well. Uh, just running the QAD HDX, uh, True Ball XL sight, uh, with the sight light like we talked about from the ground blind. Um, awesome setup for me. Uh, stay tuned, hope we get some turkeys on the ground for you.